with that, how do we want to get this started? I'm going to use the old two and a half inch brush. That's my go-to, go-to brush, right into crimson. And normally, if you watch Bob Ross, he says we don't want to set the sky on fire, but I'm going to set the sky on fire. <laughs> I just feel like doing it today. We're going to make some fireball clouds, just a really bright sunset in Big Bend National Park. Up here is going to be clouds, down here is going to be mountains, maybe a rock over here, a bush. <laughs> There's the plan. That's the plan for today. Alright, I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. Not too much, but... Alright, that's the crimson. Now we want to throw... I'm going to wipe this... Actually, I probably don't need to wipe this off. If I know what colors I'm going to go into next. <laughs> uh, let's do yellow. Yellow. No, that's Indian yellow. It's too late. I'm already in it. I can't go back now. Ochre and crimson. Or Indian yellow and crimson. It's going to make a weird, weird looking sky. But that's okay. If you want to make it really weird, you can go to bright red, but... Actually, that usually makes it look normal, so maybe I'll throw some of that in on top. Fill in that extra white space with this really bright red. And then on the top, I can throw in a blue, Prussian blue. There, that's a very fiery looking sky. How's that? <laughs> All right. And then, let's see, let's see. We can throw in, yeah, I guess we can go into the blue now. Prussian blue and crimson. Is that purple? Should be purple. Maybe really dark up in here. Towards the top, not so much. Down towards the middle. But we can add some darker clouds here spots but we'll, we'll throw those in with the fan brush so I don't want them to be as as big as the two and a half inch brush big splotches of paint so I'm just wiping off wiping out that blue and we'll blend it out That's all I wanted to do there. It should be good enough. Now we can throw in, we want to throw in some really bright fan brush fiery colors. Let's see. Could go straight yellow. That's going to be really bright. Might be too bright. So we can add some of the red. And then that will just immediately dissolve the yellow because I forgot I was using Hansi yellow instead of cadmium yellow. Maybe we'll just use this for now. I'm just trying to go above these really dark or really bright reds that I put in there. And I wanted to make this brighter so maybe I can add some white to this. Yellow and red. Orangey. Should be orange, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll use the blender brush here in a sec. Blend this out. Not too concerned with these. Alright, where's the blender brush? Here it is. Little tiny circles. And I do want to actually wipe this on the brush in between. 
so I don't want to completely destroy the clouds. Alright, so those are like our brighter clouds. And then we'll have some maybe some dim ones around the sides. I could also do like a big sweeping cloud in the background, but for now, we'll just stick to these types of clouds. Nothing too crazy. Alright, wipe this out on the towel here and then go back to this Prussian blue, lizard crimson. We can mix up some bigger clouds over here on the side. Maybe he comes over that one. I don't know. Add some depth. And maybe he comes into this one too. Just adding some depth to the paint. Make it look dark. And that's just crimson and uh, crimson and Prussian blue. Maybe we'll have a little tiny flutter cloud that comes through here. But he's bigger up towards the top. Maybe he's a storm cloud, I don't know. I'm just adding depth. These big dark clouds add depth to the lighter one. And maybe we can put some stringy ones further up. I don't know how visible these will be. But I think that's good enough for those. Wipe this off again. What are you painting? Uh, I think it's just like a little landscape with in Texas. Big Bend National Park. I don't really know yet. I'm just kind of practicing. Practicing clouds, practicing different colors of clouds. I can actually blend this all the way down here, maybe. Blend those up. And this I just blend out the bottom. I think I was going to add a cliff here, or something, something in there, and then this is a path or something, no real plan here. Just going to soften things. I don't know if I want to highlight these clouds on the sides or not, probably could, but I also kind of want them to be really dark. Maybe I could highlight the, the ones further in the back with a little bit of like straight white and actually I, need, I would need to walk, wash this brush first because that's got blue all over it. Or I'll just use a different one. I got an older one here. Maybe we can do this. These ones can look really bright. sides where the light might hit them. And then we can use the, uh, oh, there's one here too. Just a little bit. Can use the blender brush again to lighten them up. Cool, I suggest you do a landscape last one. I use my, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Something out of Texas. Just soften them up a little bit, these little clouds here a bit. I don't want them too bright. Cause this is like sunset-ish. I don't know. Not quite sunset, but also sunset. <laughs> if that makes sense. Now right, we've got two fan brushes here. Blender. Two and a half inch brush. I think we can go into the, the little cliff now. Or not cliff. What is this? Uh, plateau? I think that's the word I was looking for. So this back one, he's going to be kind of light. I'm thinking maybe a little tiny one back here. And then a bigger one in front. And that one's more steep. And then in front, 
paths and little bushes and stuff. That's, what I'm, that's the thought process right now. So that's what I'm trying to do. No details in this back one. He's just, he's just out there. He's just out there in the back. Won't be able to see much of him at all. And the other one's going to come over here. I'm going to darken this one up a bit. Actually, that's not even... Let's make him this tall. And then he drop. Drop right there. Alright, that's the second one. So I'll smooth out this one a little bit. And then I guess we can add... I don't know. We can put in a... I don't know what they're called here. <laughs> they're not... Bushes. They're... Shrubs, maybe? I don't know the word to explain what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> but they're a bunch of sparse br brush. Brush was the word. That was the word. I want brush over here. Not a paintbrush, but brush the plant. Like plants. Alright. Let's go. I'm going to use the palette knife for this one. This little hill here. Let's try that. Blues, blue and red. And then we'll go right here. Maybe a little too light on the background of it. out here in a sec. Before I do that though I might want to actually fill in this bottom part with brown before I get too far in it, too far into it. My stomach's kind of upset too. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So if I have to end the stream early that might be why. Or I might lose power because we're getting a storm. Is this with regular or water mixable? This is with regular uh, Blue Ridge oil paint, so uh, regular oil paints today. Been kind of taking a break from water mixed boils. I haven't been able to figure out how to get the brushes to stop sticking together. No matter what I use on those, just they always stick together. I have to soak them in Jack's linseed soap overnight. And I don't always remember to do that, <laughs> so sometimes I come out and they're just like rock, rock solid brushes. So I just use these local brands of oil paints. They were pretty good. Just a local guy makes them. Up in Asheville, North Carolina. All right, I'm just gonna clean some space up here. Might use that color later. Might use that color later. I think I said I wanted to use some browns here, so I'm going to use this is, uh, raw umber. This is ivory black. Maybe some emerald green. Hopefully this is a dark brown or a darkish brown. I could add a lizard and crimson, but that might be too dark. And that's what I wanted to throw in up here. And if I just use a little bit of paint first, I can blend it out. like a distant valley or something. Another plane. I can come back in with script liner, add in some uh, what do we add in script liner? Little brush. Brush is what I wanted to add in. Alright, let's use a two inch brush for this. Might use the wrong color down here. But 
probably should have used burnt sienna instead of umber. Have more of a red tone. But we learn. We paint and we learn. Alright, and then up here, let's see if I can blend this out. There we go. Softening, softening the edge there. There we go. All right, so we got like a foreground. We got a, a cliff. The cliff doesn't have much highlight on it, and I did want to add some of that. So let's get, let's use this brown, some white. Let's see if this works. Test it. Try before you buy. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There we go. Just trying to highlight where these peaks were. That might be too bright. That's okay. Can go back in with some brown, pick them up. I live in Texas and that is looking a lot like Big Bend area. <laughs> That's good, I was worried. I, I haven't been to Big Bend, I've only been through um, Dallas, uh, Dallas Fort Worth Airport in that area for because of trying to work at Toyota for a second. But, they didn't they didn't want me <laughs> so I didn't go work there all right let's see could add some more down in here just looks like kind of make it some cliffs in here straighten that one up I didn't put much thought into where the light was so I probably should have but oh well got that. kind of want to throw in some, I think I said shrubs. Actually, I said I wanted shrubs in the background, so let me put the fine brush down for now. And grab, could use the, actually, I haven't used this, but I don't think I've used this brush yet on the streams, but I use it a lot when I'm doing like commission stuff. I say a lot, I've only used it like 20 times, so that's not very many, but I wanted to add some little like indications of shrubs back here. But not many of them, just like here and there. That one's too big. <laughs> I can blend them out. That's the thing. If you don't like something when you're painting this way, you can just go over with the two and a half inch brush and it disappear. These are just like really far away shrubs. I don't know what they're called. Tree mesquite trees? I think when I was there that's what they called mesquite trees. And I'll use a fan brush to blend out the bottoms. I think I just got all over my pants. Oh. Well. It might be too bright, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. We don't worry when we paint. That's not worth it. This one is too big, so I'm just gonna make them look like a blob and then blend him away. He's gone. <laughs> we fixed it. All right, here we go. Oh, there's actually white on this. That's not good. <laughs> All right, never mind. We fixed it. We're fine. Nothing, nothing bad happened. All right. Let's see. I do want to put a bush over here. Something right there, and then maybe one. Over there <laughs> and then let's see that's the only way I figured out how to make like tumbleweed bushes though you just kind of hit the fan brush straight in. <laughs> I 
I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but I just like the way that looks and the way it sounds, especially over here. What a nice bush. This one looks nice too. All right. And then down here, I'm probably going to put a, and I don't know what the name of these are, but there's a, um, there's a type of plant that's got like really pointy leaves. I saw it in a picture, but I forgot the name of it. But we'll figure that out. And I saw something I didn't like up here, so I'm going to fix it now. There's this really dark, really dark contrast here. With the, the cloud and then this hill. So I'm just going to add some white. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to make their make a bit of contrast in between them so they actually look like they're separated. If that makes sense. Might not make any sense, but maybe it does. Alright, I think maybe that's a little more what I want. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I never knew slapping the canvas could make such good shrubs. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. I forget who who I was talking to. I think it was my mom actually. She said that she really liked the details and something that I did. And I was like, yeah. I spent maybe seven seconds on that. On that, it was like literally a bush just like this. All right, I'm just gonna try and make them more bush shaped. I don't know if there were. Are there cactus, cacti in the Big Bend or Bend National Park? I don't know. I can add a cactus in pretty easy if there are. They're pretty easy to paint. And darken up the corners a little bit. Draw the eyes into the middle. Maybe add some more planes. I think that's good. I'm gonna wipe this. Actually, I have the other brush. I'll use that one. We can add some highlights to things. I think that was yellow and Indian yellow red and Hansa yellow here. I just wanna start touching kind of the same colors that were in the sky. I wanna move those down here. Just a little bit. I say a little bit and I probably cover up the entire thing. <laughs> so I gotta stop myself. I'm kind of poking straight in with the uh, fan brush here. Maybe some over here. Just a little bit. Give the land some shape. There we go. Some up here too. And then we gotta highlight those uh, slap trees. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. I'll call them slap trees. That's funny. Maybe add some uh, liquid white here, or magic white on the top of the brush. Thin it down a little bit. Let's see if this works. I don't think I've ever slap highlighted a bush before, but. There we go, slap highlighted. There you go. <laughs> Slap highlighting trees. All right. I'm gonna throw some down in here. There's another plane that comes up into this bush. This is kind of a short painting. I feel like I could have done more stuff maybe, but I don't know, should I add anything else? What do you guys think? Cactus would look so cool. All right, let's see, where do we want to put them? How big do we want it? Let's see, let's just, let's just throw them in. Cactuses are green, so I'm gonna use all my emerald green here. Let's just put them right in the middle. He's a big cactus. Maybe he goes off, off the side. Let me pull this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Sometimes I hit the canvas so hard that it gets 
pushed in the back. <laughs> so I gotta be careful. Alright, let's put him in right there. Big old cactus. I'm using kind of the like the top part of the side of the fan brush. I don't know if that makes sense because it makes it round. If you do it, uh, if you do it like this, it gets makes the top really pointy. And cactuses, they don't, you don't think they're pointy. I'm <laughs> big. <laughs> you want to make them even bigger? We could. Let's add some arms first, and then we can think about making them bigger. All right, there's that. There's one arm. I read something today. What was it on? I think it was on like the Visit Tucson, Tucson, Tucson Arizona. Their uh, Instagram was like, it takes a hundred years or something for cactuses to grow an arm for some ridiculous amount of time. I had no idea. That's pretty crazy. It's like every cactus you see with a bunch of arms on it is actually really old. So pretty interesting. Let's give him a little, little arm. <laughs> There's one. He looks lonely though. We gotta add another one. We gotta add a second cactus. We just have a family. A family of cacti. Maybe he has a little, or he's a little younger. Maybe he only has a little tiny arm. That's all he gets. That's the parent. <laughs> all right. There's some cacti. That's pretty fun. Oh, I just ripped this towel in. That's not good. Okay. Probably should highlight them. What do you think? I just didn't like how harsh that edge was. Same over here. Sometimes I see stuff after I paint and I'm like, I really, I really wasn't thinking. <laughs> and then I go and fix it and I feel better. But sometimes I catch it while I'm painting. Let's just add a little bit. Yellow, yellow, Hansa yellow and uh, emerald green. Makes a nice, uh, nice green color lighter green. Maybe we can add a little bit of highlights on these. Probably won't even be able to see this until until I take it down. But this also makes the sides of it look kind of pointy or prickly. Which is what cactus have little prickles on. There we go. The same effect kind of works on pine trees. If you're painting pine trees. You want to make them look kind of prickly because they got a lot of pines. There we go. I don't know if you can see those, but I can kind of see. Mess this one up just a little bit. Easy to fix, you just make them taller. There we go. There's some cacti, some bushes, slap bushes, really big mean looking clouds and some nicer looking clouds. Let's uh, blend these ones out right in the middle. Must have missed them when I was doing them before. Same up here. There we go. I don't want any details on those ones. They're like the super high up clouds. Alright. There's a pain. You can always go back and add more too. Sometimes there, if you want to add some really cool details, you have to wait until it dries to add those. But for this one, I think we're good. But I do have a good bit of paint left. Maybe we want to add a stone because we got a little bit. We got a little bit of time. I try to keep the the uh, videos to around 30 minutes. So that's the standard. Standard TV time. I'll add one there. And there's one over here. Just a little one. Some white. Actually, we can use that color we have here. That's too bright.
There we go. There's a stone. There's a stone. I think that's pretty good. We can touch them up a little bit. Call this one done. Same over here, but not too much. He's already buried. All right, that's good enough for this one. I'll go ahead and sign him. And then lost a script liner there. I'll use what we're we gonna use here. Oil, thin oil, and naphthol red. Just a little bit of naphthol red. Go here. Spin it around. And we'll put it over here. In the little little bush over here. There we go. And this next painting, I have no idea how it's going to go because I've never painted a pyramid before, but somebody asked to paint a pyramid last time, so we're going to give that a go. See what happens. All right, wipe these out. Got paint all over my pants. That's okay. All right. Take her down. See how we did. Try not to get paint on my fingers. Ugh. There we go. Hopefully we can see that. Yeah, this is uh, something out of Big Bend or Bend National Park or something. We'll see uh, 